Our initial concept for scheduling the crew on board the International Space Station was actually modeled um, a, off of the shuttle paradigm, whereby we knew exactly what they were going to be doing down to the five-minute interval. And for shuttle, for a two-week mission, you needed to do that to make sure you accomplished all your objectives within those two weeks. But for Space Station, when you're flying up there for six months, having somebody tell you what to do every five minutes was uh, proving to be a little bit detrimental uh, to the psyche of the crew members and eventually um, was, was manifested in the fact that we were not getting as much accomplished as we thought we could be. So in order to achieve the, the space station mission objectives, we still need to have accountability for the number of crew hours that are being spent on any given activity. So we still choose to schedule their day with a five minute increment. However, we provide them flexibility in their overall activities. So for example, um, in the olden days, we would tell the crew, you will wake up at this hour, you will study prior to a conference with the ground. After your conference with the ground, you will exercise for one hour. Then you will work on this system, then you will work on this payload, and you must do it in that order. Um, and this was based on our best guess of what would be guess of what would be most efficient for the crew members on board. When in reality, because we do not live there, uh, there were other things that should have been taken into consideration that might have made their day more efficient. So we came up with a new concept of flexible activities. So we will program the crew's day per a, a certain schedule of events, but we've let them know that unless this activity has a blue box around it, um, it can occur at any time of the day. And those blue box ones are when they need to coordinate with us or when it's reliant on a particular configuration of our communication system. But aside from that, they are free to schedule their day as they wish. And some of them have been doing that. They choose to exercise maybe even before they wake up in the morning. Um, we have also started to provide them a task list. Uh, so it's similar to a job jar concept. But in addition to what we have timelined for them on their regular day, they can go to this list if they finish early and say, oh, I would like to do this activity in my job jar, similar to what you would do in your to-do list at your home. And this flexibility has really improved the crew psyche. They feel like they have more control over their day-to-day -day activities, which actually promotes them to want to do more and to become more efficient. For ex exploration missions, it will also be important to keep the crew happy as well. Uh, and although we don't know today what that design of that mission will look like exactly or what the day-to-day -day requirements of the crew will be, um, it is important to consider to provide them as much flexibility as possible, minimizing the questions that they would have back and forth to the ground, uh, providing them um, uh, the ability to uh, execute their activities in the order that they see fit and try to minimize any types of constraints uh, that would prevent them from, from uh, accomplishing activities without talking to the ground.